Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Adobe Scripting Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a progress bar for your user interface that you can control and set the values and uh, just give the illusion or the actual progress of your script. Before we get started, I do wanna remind you down below, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for cool code updates and more code like this. And also down there in the description, you can follow us on Instagram for live updates. Make sure you join our Discord where you can talk about scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, get your questions answered or help other people and uh, interact with some legends in the Adobe space. And if you'd like to help support the channel and get cool perks like uh, tutorials in advance, extra resources, monthly live streams, you can help support the channel by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. So let's go ahead and get started with the script. It's actually relatively simple and very similar to other UI elements. So if you've already coded UIs before, this tutorial should be fairly simple. So we're going to start by uh, basically moving this over to the side here. So we have a reference and loading a new script and I'll zoom in here. The first thing we need is a window, of course, to put in uh, our, our element in. So I'll create a variable called window and set this equal to a new window. And it's gonna be a palette type window. And we're gonna call it our progress bar. And we're gonna give it the undefined size so it generates it automatically. Then we're just gonna use one uh, element so we don't need any groups or special organization. So I'm just gonna create my progress bar right off the bat. I'm gonna say progress bar is equal to window.add. And I'm gonna add a progress bar and we're gonna have an undefined size and just leave the string here blank. Now let's go ahead and show our window and center it in the middle of the screen by calling these two methods here. And now we can go ahead and launch it and view it. You can see it looks exactly the same as the other. The only difference is it's not filling with green or anything. So the way we change this is basically by accessing the value of the progress bar. If we wanted to, after we show the window, we could grab our progress bar and say maybe value is equal to 50. And if we run it, you can see it's going to run and then animate up to about 50%. So the full value of the bar is by default set from zero to 100. But if you want, you can go in and change those. If you wanted to, you could go into these script UI classes you can find progress bar, and it looks like we have a min value and a max value, just like a slider. So if you wanted to set a custom range from like zero to a thousand or something like that to be more accurate for whatever your script progress requires, then you could do that as well. But most of the time, just using the percentage of zero to a hundred is plenty. So how can we animate this over time to give the illusion of animation um, or processing? Because normally inside of a script, you would change the progress bar value after you finish something. Maybe first you import your footage, then the progress bar value goes up to 25%, then you edit the footage, then it goes to 50%, etc, etc. et, cetera, et cetera. So you can physically show the user, hey, this is the percentage of the prog progress of the script that is complete. But for our case, we're just gonna give the sort of illusion of that. And to do that, we're just gonna set up a basic for loop here. So we'll use uh, i is equal to one, and i is less than or equal to 10. So we'll have 10 increments. Because basically each little increment, we can go from 10 to 20 to 30 to 40%, all the way up to 100. If you wanted it to be even tinier adjustments, you could make this uh, even smaller, or adjust your algorithm, of course. And all I'm gonna do now is just uh, grab my progress bar, dot value, and instead of setting this just to i, because that would give it one through 10, we're gonna multiply it by 10. So the first iteration, one times 10 is 10. The second iteration, two times 10 is 20. So it's gonna go in 10% chunks if I use i times 10. And now if I run this, you can see it's just gonna fill up super fast. So what I'm gonna do right after I change the value is add a short pause that will pause all of the processing in our script. To do this, we're gonna call dollar sign, which is the global uh, sort of scripting uh, methods that we can grab. And I'm gonna say sleep and we can give it the milliseconds to sleep for. So let's start with a second. A thousand milliseconds is a second. So every one second, it should go up 10%. So as you can see, it's animating nice and slowly, and about every second, it's going up to the next step in the process. If we wanted to, we could reduce this to something really small, like 50. You can see that's quite fast, and we can sort of dial this in until we find something that looks nice to us. 
And again, if you have a larger project, you'd essentially just want to change your progress bar value as each step in your script is complete in order to visually show the percentage of, hey, this is how far we are in the entire process. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub and Instagram to get updates on videos and code. Of course, make sure you don't forget to join the Discord. Get help with your expressions, plugins, extensions, scripting. Help the community out or get your questions answered. And lastly, if you'd like to help support the channel as well as get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP on YouTube. Thanks again for watching everyone, we'll see you next time.